the season? Um, I'm just trying to do the right thing right now and just get better each week, you know, uh, make improvements from week in and week out. That's all I'm trying to do for right now. What did you learn from those two guys? Um, I learned everything that I know about um, college football pretty much from those two guys. They taught me a lot. Um, Brandon was helping me out my freshman year and sophomore year, and Tony was in there too when he, when he was injured. And it was great to have those guys. They're like older brothers to me right now, helping me uh, go through. Coach friends kind of talked about throwing you in there in those seven in your freshman year, and now you're a lot more prepared. Do you feel that way? Yeah, definitely. I mean, obviously, freshman year, I had no idea what's going on. I was just trying to survive each day, and now I know what's going on. I'm just trying to improve now. We yeah. I mean, to this point, been more quiet, I guess, in terms of the overall numbers of the know your name. What kind of numbers do you think you can put up this year and is what could be a high-powered offense? Uh, I don't know anything about that. Uh, you know, I'm just trying to earn my spot here and then just try to contribute whenever I can, and that's what I think the whole offense is trying to do. How long have you been waiting for this opportunity behind Moyaki and behind Myers? How long have you been like waiting for this opportunity behind Moyaki and Myers and you feel like you can really capitalize on it? Oh uh, Yeah, definitely. I mean, I learned a lot from those two guys uh, watching film and technique-wise. Just learned a lot from those guys. Now I'm ready just to let it all go for my last yeah. final year. In which places did you make the most strides as a blocker? Has it more, been more technique or more power? Uh, I think definitely the weight room helps with that. And, um, getting older, uh, your body maturing okay. more. You know that definitely helps in blocking. And I think that's what happened the most these last four years. Did you feel like you had an angle, an angle on how so you not to perform the techniques early? It was just a matter of physically being able to do it. Um, well, it was new because I didn't really block in high school. Um, so coming in here, the techniques different and just learning that. But I mean, after doing it for a while, you kind of just you know know like the back of your hand, I guess people say. Um, you just get used to it, and then it's just you don't think about it, and you just go out there and do it. And that's that's what really helps. Um, you know, your fourth year, third year compared to your first two years. How about going up against some of the DNs you have to in practice? Do you think that'll help you translate that? Oh, I sure hope it does. I mean, we have a really good D-line. I mean, everybody says preseason, you know, all Big Ten or whatever. I mean, Adrian's really good DN. that I'm probably one of the best in the face all year, you know, in practice. Um, so I hope that helps. It should, you know, their technique and whatnot. It's about the same, similar throughout the, the Big Ten. How successful were you going up against them? You know, say it's just zone play, one way or the other, and that you have there. Oh, you know, I didn't do too bad. Uh, I was the greatest, but I mean, I, I held my own at times. Alan, can you talk a little bit about CJ? Coach told us he's going to play this year. Uh, yeah, he's coming in. Uh, he's really good offensively, uh, catching the ball. He's one of the best hands for tight ends, I'd say, coming in. Um, run blocking. He's new at that, but he's definitely making strides. I talked to Brad, I think, at media day, and he's, he wishes he had CJ's just natural physique. Oh, definitely. Is he kind of a freak in nature? Yeah, I mean, he looks like a sculpture. I mean, he's just, he's chiseled out. 260 and it's just pretty cut. What what are going to be the, I guess, the, the the roadblocks for him playing as a true freshman? You and Brad both did that. Uh, well, it's just learning the offense, I think that's the main thing. Uh, that's the most difficult part, too, for him. I think that's just the, the biggest thing that he has to worry about right now. <laughs> what about just this whole receiving core that you're a part of as a kind of talk about uh, the depth of that? And, uh, who, who's a receiver maybe that we, should, we don't think of, maybe, outside of DJ and Marvin? But, they're pretty good. You see it every day in practice. Who's waiting in the wings? Maybe who would be a surprise? Uh, I don't know. I, uh, I mean, uh, Colin Sandman. I mean, yeah. He's coming in there. How I much is he approved? Talk about him a little in the sense that we really don't appreciate all that he can do. I mean, you know, because he's buying some pretty good guys, but he's pretty steady performance. Then. Right. Yeah. He is definitely has uh, the skill to do it. Uh, he's shown up a lot more, I think, during this camp than he has before. Okay. He really improved a lot over the spring.